Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay, this won't be a very long video. I'm just gonna, uh, just, I'm just gonna point out some things here. <clears throat> uh, my last video, I was pointing out how Bev Try Thinking and the Try Thinking server don't have um, a strong argument with the water level, um, as you must beg the question that the water level is creating a horizontal. Even though I agree that it is creating a horizontal. I can't prove it with just the water level. That alone doesn't prove that level is horizontal. Um, as, as, as I said in the video, um, a baller, globe believer, could state that it only appears to be horizontal because it's such a small distance over, let's say, half a kilometre, 500 metres. But <clears throat> anyway, I caught just a couple of minutes of Bev's sh show um, try thinking show there tonight on I didn't catch it live but I caught it afterwards and I just two different points I stopped at that for uh, maybe 30 seconds to a minute on the first point if even that and a couple of minutes here on the second point the first point I stopped at that he was straw man in me not new there that's what I'm expecting he has to do because he can't he can't address this because it means he doesn't have an argument because he doesn't have you know, his argument at best, all his arguments always end up at a draw with the ballers. At best, they're a draw. You know, um, that's all he has. But either way, <clears throat> I hope you can hear this. I'm going to play a bit of, I'm going to play just a couple of minutes of his video. And I'm going to just go through a couple of bits <clears throat> of his video. Um, hope you can hear this. Right. Sorry. Everybody knows whenever you say, you know what the two dimensional shapes are. That's right, circle, triangle, square. Everybody knows these shapes. They're very simple shapes. Okay. So, going to show now two dimensional shapes, right? If you search for two dimensional shapes, you get these, right? Um, this. Um, could be called two-dimensional as well, okay? Because here are three-dimensional shapes, right? This is not three-dimensional. This is much more like that, two-dimensional. So if you took a piece of paper and you drew this triangle on a piece of paper, kind of like it's showing here, then that can be described as two-dimensional. It can be described as flat, even though technically it's not flat because the paper has undulations. But it can be described as flat, but it also is described as a two-dimensional shape. Right? This is what it is. I, Bev just stated that there is two-dimensional shapes in existence. That's what he stated. He just named them out. Okay, let's keep going. And they're 2D. There's no need to inject anything else in. You should never do it even to a child. I don't know why you want to be doing it to adults. Sound like a little bit ridiculous. Anyone who's tell who's saying that should have stopped there. He's just trying to poison the well. It's just nonsense. He's not addressing um he's not really addressing it. Um he's trying to blur the lines. That's what he has to do. Because he doesn't have an argument. Flat is two dimensional. Or the flat uh to say that the other flat is wrong. No, they're wrong. Because they don't understand flat. They're wrong because they don't understand flat. They're wrong because they don't understand flat. Well, that's Brian's logic for you. That's correct, yeah. That is my logic and that is sound logic and correct logic, as Bev is going to prove in a few minutes. Confused state of mind telling you you're wrong. Yeah, you are wrong if you say that. Uh, the earth can't be described as flat. That is wrong. And Bev is going to prove this in a minute. That's what's wrong. Not that someone who's saying the earth is flat is wrong. Because you're not claiming a shape to the earth. You're not claiming it's two dimensional. You're claiming it has the appearance of two dimensions. It has the, it has, it has the appearance of being that way. Right? You're claiming it has the appearance of 2D. Um, when everybody knows uh, 2D doesn't exist and there is no appearance of 2D. What's that then? 
is that not in existence? What about that? Is that not in existence? You know, this green appears flat. It appears smooth to the touch. But at the microscopic level, just like a piece of paper or a tabletop or anything else that appears, that can be described as flat and described as two-dimensional, at the microscopic level, they have undulations. So they're not flat. If you want to, they're not, sorry, they're not, if you want to say they're not two-dimensional, then there's no such thing as two-dimensional shapes. But this is what you find when you search for two-dimensional shapes. And Bev just said a few minutes ago, he just named out some of these uh, two-dimensional shapes, a rectangle, circle, triangle, square. You know, maybe, I don't know if he named any more, but he named a few of these. So according to Bev, they are in existence. He named them out. Like, we wouldn't be able to define them if they weren't in existence. You know, so he defined them. He spoke about them. He named out a few of them. And now he's saying that two-dimensional doesn't exist in reality. I'm in reality now. I'm looking at two-dimensional shapes. What can only be described as two-dimensional shapes? They can't be described as three-dimensional. I can't describe them like that because they're not three-dimensional. Even these are actually on a flat screen, but they're... A three-dimensional shape is in geometry, geometry known as a solid shape. Um, so it would be something that has three dimensions to it. Uh, let's just say an obvious three dimensions. But if I drew this on a piece of paper, that can't be called three dimensions. You know, if this is a piece of paper and I draw this, what do I call this then? Can I call it a flat triangle? When, when does it become a two-dimensional triangle like Bev spoke about? When does it not exist? When does the shapes that Bev spoke about existing not exist, Bev? He seems to be calling me confused and talking about how I might have problems, yet he can't keep track of what he's saying. Let's keep going. I hope everybody understands that. Flat exists, a 2D plane does not. Now you heard it. Flat exists, a 2D plane does not. Okay. In reality. Yeah. My whiteboard is a flat whiteboard. It's not 2D. The surface of it isn't 2D. The concept that you use. Now, Bev has just given himself away. Bev has spent maybe maybe a, part, a good part of maybe a year, right, going around flat shaming people, saying people are stupid and wrong. And he said it earlier about flat, you know, stupid and wrong to uh, say that the earth is flat, that it's wrong. It's not flat. He said he can prove it because there's elevation changes, just like those elevation changes on a piece of paper or his whiteboard. But it's okay for him to call his whiteboard flat, but not okay for me to, or someone else to, describe the earth as flat, because it has hills, mountains, and valleys. So there's Bev for you. There's your leader. Those who follow Bev, there's your leader. He's after just completely contradicting a claim that he's tried to force out onto people for a year. You know, he's trying to flat shame people. You know, with him saying, I'm not a flat earther, and it's stupid to be a flat earther, and there's a lot of people listening and following him. But there you go. His whiteboard is not two dimensional, but it is flat because, because it has right undulations, just like the earth, Bev. I only listened to that's all I listened to of this. Other than that, it was like maybe I would say less than 30 seconds of a straw man I heard him talk about. I didn't even listen to the rest of this, so I might do more. Uh, there might be more of these videos, but there you go. That's what you get with Bev. Bev has no consistency. He's not honest. He just, it was just okay for him to call his whiteboard flat because it has, un but he, flat, but not two dimensional because it has undulations. Yet it wasn't long ago that he was saying that you can't be calling the earth flat. 
You know, it was very, very short time ago he was saying that. Yes, you know, and he was, was he not, if we go back to, where are we? Uh, 232, right there. One second. And everybody knows whenever you say, you know what the two dimensional shapes are. That's right. Circle, triangle, square. Everybody knows these shapes. They're very simple shapes. And they're 2D. 2D does not exist according to Bev and his friend there. But yeah, he's after just speaking about 2D shapes that exist according to him. So something that he's claiming exists also doesn't exist. And his friend is going along with it. There's no need to inject anything else in. You should never do it even to a child. Do what, Bev? No, why you want to be doing it to adults. Sound like a little bit ridiculous. Anyone who's telling... It is a bit ridiculous, Bev, that you're claiming two-dimensional shapes exist, that then you're claiming two-dimensional doesn't exist. So two-dimensional shapes exist, obviously, in reality, so that's what he's referring to. But then he's stating two-dimensional two, two doesn't exist in reality. He's claiming that people should be shamed, and he's going to try to shame people for saying the earth is flat, which is totally correct. The earth is flat. Flat is not a shape. Flat has just the appearance of two dimensions. It's not really flat. Or sorry, it's not really two-dimensional. It just has the appearance. A piece of paper can be described as two-dimensional. The triangle you draw on the piece of paper can be described as two-dimensional. But it's not two-dimensional. At the microscopic level. Just like his whiteboard. And the earth has hills, mountains and valleys. But they're, they're no, they don't stand out any more than the undulations that on a piece of paper stands out. A piece of A4 paper you put into a photocopier. So you, if you could see the whole earth, if you, see, you see the whole the whole earth at one time from above, high above, are you going to notice Mount Everest? We don't even know how big the, the earth is. Are you going to notice Mount Everest? Not at all. So there's bed for you. Just completely contradicting himself. Spends a year trying to flat shame people, and now it's okay to describe his uh, whiteboard as flat. But it's not two-dimensional. But shapes are two-dimensional. But two dimensions doesn't exist. There's your leader. That's who you're following right now. And if you continue to follow this man, then you get what you get what you deserve. He's leading you down a path of BS. So this is the very end, the absolute end of flat shaming by Bev. Bev can never flat shame again because he's just admitted. That his whiteboard, right, is flat, but it's not two dimensional because it has undulations, just like the earth. Thanks for watching.